Pixar, one of the biggest production houses, and it's a fact that we all love their movies. Welcome to the Movie Medic. Today, we'll be ranking top 10 Pixar films. That's going in the album. Number 10, Brave, the first female-driven movie by Pixar. Brave takes you on the journey of Princess Merida, who sets off on an adventure to find the purpose of her life. A fun family film, and the first Pixar movie set entirely in the historic past. With one dead eye, I drew my sword. And... Which one? Beautiful art, great comedy, and most importantly, great storytelling. Brave is a quite good tale that is filled with moments of insight, beauty, and humor. Lady rises early. Does this stuff her gulp? Does not place her weapons on the table. Uh. Number nine, A Bug's Life, a fun family comedy. A Bug's Life is an imaginative and delightful romp. The plot of the movie is almost similar as every other Disney movie. Guy is falling. Look out! The story revolves around Flick, a misfit Anne looking for warriors to save his colony from the grasshoppers. Uh, isn't it up there? What? But ends up recruiting a group of bugs that turn out to be an inept circus troop. The energy of the film doesn't come from its history, it comes from its characters. Audiences will probably find the circus bugs the most enjoyable aspect of this film. Excuse me, uh, hi, I represent an ant colony and we're hey, just- bartender, bloody Mary, Opa. Number 8, Finding Dory. Hey guys, guys, hello? Guys, where are you? A simple delightful movie with comedy and emotions. It continues the story of Dory, a lovable fish who has a short-term memory loss, tries to find her long-lost parents. What you say? <laughs> okay, okay. We'll pretend to be the other kids now. <sighs> <clears throat> Much like every other Pixar movie, it has lovable characters, a great story, and some excellent comedy. Oh, I'm gonna be totally sick! The California Kurt, dude, got some gnarly chop. Serve some, dude! <laughs> the animation looks real, which quite attracts the audience. Movie sequels aren't always the big blast as their makers want them to be. Fans of the original often get disappointed on the sequels, but Finding Dory does match the greatness of the original. The place, uh, you, uh, soap and lotion? Open, open ocean. ocean. Open ocean! <gasps> open ocean? I know where that is! <laughs> Number 7. Ratatouille. Nothing less than one of the finest movies ever made. <gasps> It follows the story of a rat who can cook, makes an unusual team with a young kitchen worker at a famous restaurant. It has comedy and a great story which is one of a kind. Remy's character is definitely one of the best that makes its place in audiences hearts long after they leave the film. Oh, amazing. Each flavor was totally unique. It gives a positive message that not everyone can become a great artist. But a great artist can come from anywhere. Number 6. Monsters University. A pleasant story of friendship. It takes you back in time that how the one-eyed blob and the furry monster became friends and got into the business of a scare. No, and what about you with all your shedding? I don't shed. Really? Ah, Excuse me. I just want to get my but stuff. But you just need hey. It focuses on two things. Overcoming your natural weaknesses and understanding why we need friends. Well written, full of laughs, and undeniably loyal to the original movie. Oh man, I can't be late on the first day. <laughs> the story is great, the animation is beautiful, but most importantly, almost every character is highly relatable. Hey there, I'm your roomie. Name's Randy Boggs, scaring major. Oh, uh, Mike Wazowski, scaring major. <laughs> Number five, Incredibles 2, a film about the family of superheroes, focusing on both the aspects. First, their problems with the supervillain, and the funny aspect of their family problems. Guys, I never see bad guys. No, you don't. The film is about the story of a superhero family, who takes on a new mission which involves the change in their family roles, in which Mr. Incredible must manage the house, while his wife Elastigirl goes out to save the world. The film gets a bit predictable because we all know what happens when a man takes care of his children in absence of his wife. Today is his first birthday. Oh, it it's a different kind of superhero film. If you're a fan of superhero movies, then you're definitely gonna like it. Chef, you 
hit the pull up button. Okay, now. now lower me down. Well, it can be said that the story is great, but it does have some funny moments that can make you laugh. Yes, Number 4. Finding Nemo, another Pixar classic, and personally one of my favorites. The film is about a clownfish, who teams up with a silly fish in order to find his captured son. The film is all about emotional bonds and laughs. All the characters are vibrant with Pixar charm, but the most lovable character is definitely Dory. And it passed by not too long ago. A white one? Hi, I'm Dory. Where? Which way? Oh. A comic relief. And probably one of the funniest Disney characters. Finding Nemo is an endearing and engaging adventure breaking film. The movie got a re-release in 3D after 9 years since its original release. Number 3. The Incredibles. We're back again to the superhero family. But this time, we're talking about the original. Smaller bite, Dash. Yikes. Bob, could you help the carnivore cut his meat? The original is about the story of a family of undercover superheroes who tries to live a quite suburban life, just like normal people do. Hey, time, honey. Oh, I gotta go pick up the kids from school. See you tonight. Bye, honey. Excuse me. But are forced into the action to save the world. It's hard to be a superhero when you have a family to take care of. According to director Brad Bird, The Incredible is more of a story about a family, learning to balance their personal lives with their love for one another. I haven't been listening to the police scanner again. Look, I performed a public service. You act like that's a bad thing. It is a bad thing, Bob. Uprooting our family again. The movie does fool its sister's name. It is incredible in every aspect. Hey, Mom. Really? Stay here, okay? <laughs> Number 2. Toy Story. Every kid's fantasy and one of the first animations from Pixar. We're almost there! Toy Story is about the story of secret life of toys. It has a great story, lovable characters, and most importantly, it can create a strong bond between your children and their toys. In the age of electronic games, it's refreshing to see children excited about toys. Hello? Check that better? Great. Everybody hear me? Toy Story is a top-notch family entertainment that takes you to a journey to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond! Thanks for watching the video till here. Before we reveal our number one pick, we publish countdown videos every week, like the one you're watching right now. So consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome content. Number one, Monsters Inc. Sleep in or simply Work out that slab that's hanging over the bed! Get up, Sully! <laughs> it's been almost 19 years since Pixar introduced us to the lovable one-eyed blob Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski! Oh. Oh, see. Oh, and his gigantic furry partner, Sully. It is the story of two friends who live in a city of other dimension, where the power is generated through the screams of children. Going further into the story will be spoiler freak, just like we said. So you just meant like the royal we? Just like I said, Monsters Inc. is also about relationships, like friendship. Mike and Sully make a great pair of buddies. Oh, the kids are awake! Okay, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, kids asleep! It has a delicious mixture of hurt, humor, and comedy that makes Monsters Inc. worth watching. Randall was working late last night out on a scare floor. I really need the key for the door he was using. Well, isn't that nice? Did we rank all the movies in character order? What do you think? Tell us in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video.